everybody is 10k so I tried to actually uh, visit the first temple and I think <laughs> it was close although it says 430 but somehow it closed at 4 and so uh, instead we have a new discovery is that the okay here I shall actually film it to the front part where we get to see Actually, this temple is uh, pretty near to the uh, Feral Park. Okay, so we have the Leong San Si Temple. So it's actually my first time visiting it. Uh, we have a, a exterior look from here, and here we have a pretty much what we have here. Okay, pretty in depth. So I'm gonna try to go inside and check if we can actually. Take video inside. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna try to break. I think before we forget, right, we are here for the main purpose of checking the ideal location of the temple. So if we are actually facing forward directly at the temple, it's actually facing towards uh, if we turn it, it's actually facing more towards the west side. So if you see if it were to point uh, upwards, okay, of the direction, I'll shift it a bit so it doesn't really affect much. So, in fact, it's actually pointing towards the east with 100 degrees uh, outside the gate. So, this is actually pointing towards the east, okay, where the inside is actually pointing towards slightly towards the west. Okay, so I shall actually uh, have a look at this temple when you get inside. Yes. Okay, so I'm back out uh, from the temple. So uh, I try to actually uh, ask them if you can take video inside, and they say they actually forbid us from uh, taking video inside. And I think the staff were not that friendly as I thought they would be. So I try to ask them on various things like the specialty of the temple and so on. They were pretty rushed. I think they are kind of uh, rushing to get back home. So they were not uh, that keen in entertaining me. So it just rained heavily. Uh, I think overall the trip was okay. Uh, there's a lot of uh, DAD inside. And at the back part, okay, I didn't manage to really see. Uh, it's actually all the ancestral uh, tablet. Uh, that they have for their ancestors. So I managed to meet a one very friendly guy. Uh, he happens to be, as we thought, turns out that we were from the same camp and he was from uh, 35 SC and Charlie. Uh, and that's how it got. He explained to me uh, how he has uh, placed where his ancestor in uh, this temple, which is why he's visiting the temple itself. And uh, I asked him what's the specialty, so actually it's the Huaning is the main thing. So uh, I I managed, I think I managed to take some photos from the outside and he recommended me not to take photos inside, better not take photos inside because uh, and for the chanting part, okay, when when I was recording if you guys noticed there was some chanting part, uh, he told me that the chanting were actually uh, I would say, the chant to call back all the spirits, I would say the spirits of the ancestors. So at night time, at night time, the, uh, the spirits and the ancestors will be in the temple. This is why they played the chanting. And once it stops, okay, it means that all these uh, ancestors has been gathered right in the temple. So, which is why they are closing the temple. So although the staff was a bit rude, but I guess they are not. They are trying not to scare me by saying, you know, all the ancestors are coming back. So uh, yeah, so that is a uh, roughly specialty of this temple. So not all temples are uh, old ancestral. So in this area in Farrow Park, uh, there are various temples, and I asked him about 
some of the temples behind there, why are they always closed and uh, partially is due to the COVID uh, restrictions. Okay, so <laughs> I wanted to go to the Loyang Tua Pei Gong and he also told me that you know today is not a good time, I should find a time that is a daytime. Due to COVID restrictions, there's a lot of things that uh, we cannot do and uh, they are also have earlier uh, closure timing. So in the past, the Loyang has a uh, time that they are 24 hours, but now I look at the schedule, it's until 8 p.m. only. So based on my watch, it's about uh, 4 plus. So he told me the previous time he went there is closed, especially on weekends. So I think weekdays should be open. I shall try my luck to go right there. So uh, there's still a lot of uh, temples that we had to visit. So this happened to be my first one and <laughs> I don't feel that warm, but yeah, still a very interesting uh, tip from uh, a man that, were, that managed to tell me everything. So he was actually one of the patrons to who are visiting the temple. So I think uh, it's good to actually ask around if you're not sure and you want to try to check out different temples. Uh, if a person is good to you, it's okay because you can always find someone who is nice to actually review you through uh, what's there. So <laughs> the yeah, so it depends. So hope you guys enjoy this uh, tour and also we get our main thing. We get to get the uh, direction of it. So each time I do, I don't just go outside the temple and get a direction. I want to actually visit the temple and see their specialty. So inside here, okay, we, I've got to mention there is uh, two types of DAP. He mentioned there is the, the normal one and there's also the underworld one. So when I went in, I saw the underworld one. When you talk about the underworld one, there is uh, things like the horse face and the blue face and all the body up and so on. Those are actually uh, what uh, this temple has as well. So some temples, they don't have the, under, the underworld one, but this one has it. Yeah. So uh, I say, what's the specialty of this temple? It mentioned that it's the one in. And other than that, it just say this is just a pretty old temple, and that is the specialty of the temple itself. Okay, so I shall end off here, and I hope you guys enjoy this uh, video, and I'll see you guys in the next uh, video I'm gonna make. So I'm gonna take my time to actually explore around all temples. I think that's my dream to do in this channel to. Uh, uh, access to all the temples that you guys have not explored before. I want to explore it and to understand the culture and the history behind it. Well, it's quite sad though, <laughs> the first temple I want to go is actually there and it closed at 4. I remember it closed at 4.30 but I saw them pulling out the gates and I didn't really want to stop them. Maybe they were waiting for early uh, knockoff time and bang gang. So yeah, uh, pretty nice place, pretty empty on uh, I think weekdays. I think uh, the crowd here is uh, pretty decent. There's a whole stretch. Okay, it's raining right now. There's a whole stretch. <laughs> There's a whole stretch over there as well. Uh, they mentioned. So I'm gonna explore there and uh, have a look at it myself. Okay, I'm gonna take an umbrella and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.